In America, we live a life that's called fake it till you make it. Some people who are rich, they cannot afford Mercedes, but people who are poor, they can afford a Mercedes. And how is that possible? Welcome to my channel. My name is Nafula. If you've not subscribed to my channel, I highly encourage that you subscribe to my channel. And if you've already subscribed to my channel, I just want to say thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for your support. I really, really appreciate your support. So today I'm going to be spilling the beans, like literally spilling the beans. Have you ever wondered how people move to America in one year, two years, three years they're driving all these big cars they're living in these big mansions they're doing all this like you know they're driving like a mercedes they're driving like lexus teslas and you're wondering how did somebody just go to america and now they're driving a mercedes and i'm gonna be spilling the beans in this video so stay tuned if you want to know how people get to america and then start living the big life stay here with me and i'll be breaking down for you so that you know when you come here what you need to do to live the big big life so if you have a good um you know history of paying debt then your credit score is pretty strong so if you get a credit score like you know um you know 700 anything above 720 750 if you're 800 you're like you're like gold so if you have good credit score and you go to buy a car so you get here and then you need to drive a Mercedes and you've been here for one year. All you need is a good credit score and a good job, consistent income. Ukona kazi na kulipa every month. Good credit score and consistent income with zero in your bank. So you don't need any money in your bank to buy a car. Credit score and an income. You show those two, the next day they're like, okay, fill out the paperwork. You drive off with a Mercedes Benz. So, but this is the trick. So you get a, you're driving a very good car, a Mercedes and whatever. That's not an investment. Usually for me, um, buying, driving a good car is not an investment because with cars, it's not like land. You know, if you have land, then every year it appreciates, especially in Africa, good investment in land. Every year it appreciates. A car is the reverse. Every year it depreciates in value. So by the time, uh, so if you took it as credit, you know, on a credit, you pay every month like rent. Kila Mwezi, they ask you for rent for your car. So you're paying every month. If you lose this job today and tomorrow you're, you have to pay the car and you don't pay, in a week, they come and tow it and take it. Wanachukua. Yeah, wanachukua gari ya. That's why watuetu, they come here, they get good cars, wanachangamkia magari. Madeni, sisi tunaishi yapa na madeni. Madeni. Ya kujitakia. Because if you are literally like pandaring boda boda at home, or you're pandaring tuk tuk, when you come here, unaitaji masidis ya nini the first year surely. Ulipanda tuk tuk. Sayo unataka Mercedes. For what? Anything that moves, unaingia dali, unayendesha, you should be fine, right? Anything that you can avoid and put your money towards an investment versus putting money towards something which is actually depreciated. You see what I mean? And like I said, I just give advice. You don't have to use it. Everybody has their own YOLO life to live. You only live once. So, if you, so in America, actually here to drive a very good car, you don't need to be rich. In Africa, if somebody has like a fleet of cars, it means they have money. They are loaded. Like they are going to that shop and then they are buying that car uh, with cash or in the bank or with a check. In America, it's different. In this country, to drive a Mercedes, you don't need to be rich. In fact, some people who are rich, they cannot afford Mercedes, but people who are poor, they can afford a Mercedes. And how is that possible? Credit 
credit, credit, credit. So I'm going to be talking about a little bit so that I can just tell you briefly about the importance of credit in America. So in this country is important, you have good credit. And what is the good credit? I know in Africa, they discourage you from taking debts. When I can be a watcher, stay away from Madeni. Wachana na mambo ya Madeni. In America, kama haupendi Madeni, guess what? Your credit will be... And then once your credit is down, you're not able to buy a house. You're not able to buy a good car. You're not able to buy any other thing. So in America, to actually have good credit, you have to literally go and look for debt. You go and apply for credit cards. You go and try to get something on debt so that you can have good credit. And if you like the content of my videos, please, I encourage you to like my videos, share my videos, um, comment on my videos so that they can be recommended to other users on YouTube. That way, if you're learning something, your friend is going to learn it, your family is going to learn it, and even a stranger is going to learn it. So just make sure you share and like my video so that it can be recommended to other users on YouTube. Thanks for your support. So in this country, when you get here, like immediately you get a job and you get like, you know, you have, you know, get your license, you get everything going on, you have a good job. Companies who want to offer you debt, they'll be looking for you. Credit card companies, they'll be sending letters to your house sending mail encouraging you to copa pesa get credit or get a card that literally they're like oh you just arrived in america here is five thousand dollars in a card that you can use and then you have to pay back just your signature and just an application you feel a complete like a completely simple application it's easier than the dv lottery application fill it real quick they're like five thousand hiniako and you know and ishi the life you only live once yolo live once you know with all this body free body so once you apply for these credit cards so you get like ten thousand you get five thousand in a card so it's just like a card like a debit or a credit card so you get a card and then when you go to the store like if they give you the card today if you want to go buy like something that's worth two thousand uh you want to buy the big tv you know you just go buy and you swipe pseep, and they're like you're good to go you go buy good shoes pseep. you go buy an iphone pseep. you need to buy like um anything that you need to buy that you've ever wanted to buy um a computer pseep. phone pseep. video games pseep. you buy with that card and they give you five thousand and then they tell you this five thousand you only have to pay back thirty five dollars a month so you pay thirty five dollars a month but this card has a lot of interest the interest in this card is crazy you're paying thirty five dollars but you use two thousand so guess what that you did not pay is accumulating interest you see that's where they get you that's where they get you and a lot of African people fall into that trap because they just keep swiping. You know, you just want to live large. What do I mean? On states, you want to live large. You know, una show off, una jua. Nataka ni kwenye kisimu kia iPhone 14, right? You just go up, see That's why people get here. They get into debt and they never, never get out. Because unafika tu umetoka uko ranje. Yani jama metoka matumbufu. Unajua matumbufu go kwetu like there's a river is called matumbufu. Matumbufu, ametoka huko. And then they land in the US somebody is like here is $5000 just use it and pay $35 a month. Huyo jama anachangamuka. Huh? Atenda kwa stores aki swipe. That's why people get here and then they wear all this clothes by designer clothes. Ni deni, madeni kwa hizo makadi. You know? So that's why it's important like if you're a green card lottery winner don't fall into that trap do not fall into that trap and i'm gonna show you how when you get the credit card and it's five thousand you can use that credit card to build your credit and how do you build the credit it's important that when you get your card you pay the money back 
lipa pesa za watu so if you pay this money on time then it builds your credit but then if you accumulate all this interest and then at some point you lose your job and you can't even make the $35 a month these people who lend you the money they will report you to the credit bureau or whatever and when they report you that you didn't pay their money back you get a hit on your credit score and it goes down and that's where you're not able to borrow anything you're not able to drive good cars you're not able to buy a house because your credit is shot so that's why it's important when you come here try to get credit card it's important to get a credit card because you can't build a, you can't build a credit score without a credit get a good credit card and i'm gonna show you i'm gonna be explaining characteristics of a good credit card get a credit card like from a credit union like if it's a bank and there's a credit union usually their interests are not very crazy that's one number two don't get a credit card with a high credit limit get a credit card with like a thousand dollars with a two thousand dollars because if you get a credit card that's ten thousand everywhere you go somebody interprets that like you already owe ten thousand you owe somebody ten thousand if you get a credit card for five thousand if you go to borrow money for something they're like you already owe five thousand even if you've not used your credit card it shows that you have the potential to use it so you owe that money so you are walking that mtu anatembea yani when a walking madeni you know so one you get a credit card from a good uh, reputable institution with lower uh interest number two get a credit card which doesn't have uh it has zero apr which means you don't have to pay any amount per year usually with a lot of credit cards people don't look there's a credit card that says you know you pay a hundred dollars a year whether you use it or not but then there's credit cards that is zero so whether you use it or you don't use it you still is zero per year so you have nothing to lose if you don't use it so get a credit card good interest rate and then number two no annual uh fee on the card number three get a credit card where you earn money back like if you are uh, using you know like there's some credit cards like chase has a good um a program like if you get a chase has a good program so if you get like a credit card with chase like you can get a credit card with zero a yearly payment and they you earn points by using the card so somebody gives you money their money to use you use their money and if you pay back the money on time they give you points which you can convert into cash you're actually making money out of using their money i don't know if that makes sense so those are the cards that you should be using so in case like you know you use five thousand or you use two thousand you get a hundred dollars back if you paid on time so that way you're making a hundred dollars off of somebody else's money and then you're also number two building your credit with somebody else's money because you're paying your cards on time okay so now let's proceed so if you have a credit card and okay so you got uh, like four credit cards 1,000 1,000 1,000 each so now you owe 4,000 because they consider it like you already owe it whether you use it or not so you owe 4,000 so every month use different cards like you know go swipe blah, 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 blah. you use their money after two days after you use the card two days or three days after you know the statement has posted go and pay that amount to zero you get a card use it go pay to zero that way you are earning points that you can convert into cash that's number one number two is building new credit so that your credit score because you need like a credit good credit score to get a good car here so that you don't have to pay cash for it so that way you're building your credit score wacha kukuja hapa na green card pressure ya watu wameishi hapa 20 years ina kuingia unaingia madeni somebody has been here for 20 years so they've been uh, investing in stuff they can afford good cars they can afford all these things and you are over there you're over here driving a mercedes you're over here driving very good cars you go back home and people look at your parents your mother your father your siblings are suffering your siblings are suffering unakutana na 
your dad or your mom wambe chapa barabara Africa. Wewe uko hapa tu na Mercedes. How do you even go to bed at night? I'm not advocating for that, but I'm just saying like people in your neighborhood, you want a green card, people in your neighborhood. They contributed, maybe kulikuwa na mchango, they contributed, they came together, they brought you to America so that you can create a better life for, you know, the people back home and yourself. Over here you're living a big life, large life, umesahau parents. So what I'm just saying is like if you want a green card and you came to this country, be like a ladder or like a bridge for other people to actually do well some people are just selfish and that's okay you know it's uh, but then like if you're here in america and if you can make your parents life better if you can make somebody else's life better back home try to do that sometimes it's just like you know a kid needing like you know 10000 um Kenya shillings, which is like a hundred dollars that you just go to a restaurant and spend it like that you know um it just like if you can help out um try to and uh, siblings are like you're not entitled they're not entitled to any of your help but for your parents if they paid for your tuition they paid for your food they pay for your housing you better take care of them they had shelter on you and you know sometimes african parents are a little bit tough they're harsh wana kutandika and then you develop that thing in you and some people get here and they don't want to help their parents but because they had gave you a shelter and gave you schooling at least so that you got like the minimum requirement that you needed to get the green card um it doesn't cost you anything what to me hata kama ni 200 hata kama ni 100 parents your sisters and your brothers If you don't want to help, watch our jipange huko. But for your parents, make sure you help them. Now, if you're not if you're tired of helping them, be a citizen, bring them here. Waambie you come here and tafuta the way I'm tafutaring, you know? Make sure you change where you're from. Utaki kwenda holiday huko nyumbani unapatana na manyumba hazina mwelekeo. Can you imagine you're in America, you live in a good life, you know, you live in a good house, you're driving a good car, and then In December you go back home to the village. Ukienda village you find the house that you left there. Right? A house that the roof is leaking. Instead of like you know changing that you go live in a hotel which is okay. You can do whatever you want. But what I'm saying is change where you came from. So even if you go there for holidays you'll be like here what are to the kind of set This is my, you know, a little place that I'm proud of that I changed that I can actually sleep in my parents' house. Don't leave your parents sleeping in a leaking house. You're over there sleeping in a hotel. And what I'm saying is like you there's a satisfaction that comes with changing where you're from. If you ran away from that, you wanted to win a green card because you didn't like where you are from. When you get here, work very hard to change that image and it doesn't mean like you have to be a boy you have to be a you know i don't know what first born or whatever you can be a girl and then who say like girls can build houses surely huh some people say they you know girls we people underestimate us a lot especially in africa prove them wrong you are like i'm a woman i'm a girl i know everybody of you said i can't do it i can't make it but guess what i build a house in the village i build a house in the city i build there's a sense of satisfaction that comes when you do that